And we just talked about compound interest. When it says continuously compound, that means it's happening all the time. So more than just 365 days a year, it's every moment. That we can just go to this formula here, and that's where we use the natural logarithm. It's the value as if we were doing this all the time. So as n approaches infinity, how what the rate would look like. You could be use this formula here, a equals pert. So now it says the same problem, but this time we want to use the a equals pert formula. So instead of pert, like this, we're going to substitute in the values. So again, the principle was 2,000, and we're going to do it e to the power of our rate, which is 5% times the time, which is 18 years. Now, if it follows suit, it's been growing every single time we've done this. Let's see if this one grows. So we have 2,000 e to the power of 5% times the time of 18 years. Now, we're doing this more often, so it should be larger. And it does. It grows. So again, every time you increase the amount you compound, the value should grow. And so our answer here is $4,919.21 once you round. So now you have one to try. See what you come up with.